since John the Baptist came up to the present time, the kingdom of heaven, or the kingdom of God, has been subjected to violence, and the violent are taking it by storm. These are very difficult words to understand, to interpret, to accept. Before then, I want to remark that the first reading of today recalls to my mind, a day that was special. In the seminary or college where I was living at some point in Rome, weekday masses on Thursday was celebrated in the evening. And the 8th of December was a Thursday in the second week of Advent, and that was the day I was appointed for the first tenure of the Vice Rector of the Urbaniana University. I was confused. I didn't know the implications of the appointment, just as I did not know the implications of my being appointed teacher after a professor or lecturer. One thing in Italian and French is that once you are teaching in a university, you are professor or pro professor. Our name and name were grades between professor. He could professor, he could be a neighbor, assistant lecturer. I did not know when I was appointed professor a day after my doctoral defense that I had no salary, no health insurance, and no accommodation. And that was to last for 10 years. So when I was appointed vice rector, I was confused. I was living in a college as a director of studies. But when I came back into the college, we had a Senate meeting during which this announcement was made. And when I came back to the college, we all went for mass with the seminarians. And then I heard these words, do not be afraid, Jacob, poor worm, Israel, puny might. I will help you. It is the Lord who speaks. The Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer. And that was the end of my confusion. At the dining table at night, they invited me, they announced it to the seminarians who were thunderous in their jubilation. And they invited me to make a comment. I just quoted this passage. I told them, I feel like a worm, but I'm reassured by the presence of the Holy One of Israel. Now move to the gospel of today. From the time of John the Baptist to today, the violent are being this kingdom of in the kingdom of heaven or kingdom of God is being subjected to violence and the violent are taking it by storm. Remember the preceding passage. They, we don't know whether it was disappointment of John, confusion of John, his dissatisfaction with the method of Jesus, or as some who want to paper over John's psychological trauma would want to present it, 
John wanted to tell his apostles or his own disciples, in spite of the fact that he's different from me, he is the Messiah, he sent, he had sent his disciples from prison. Because of you. That is my own reading of that question. Nothing sweet about it. Jesus referred the Baptist back to the prophets who already prophesied about his own ministry. Go and tell John what you see. The dead are raised, the blind are cured, the lame walk, poor people have the gospel preached to them, the good news. And when they left, Jesus he shipaka. this man. From the human point of view. He had no look at the no magic kiri of an acquire a macaque of no worker power. There's something in this man that is more than human. But, 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 oh, horror. There is a dividing line between what he represents and what he announces. Announces. He represents a certain way of relating with God, but he announced another way that he has not yet understood. No one is greater than him. But in the kingdom of heaven, among those of you who have experienced now the coming of this kingdom, this New Testament is the least. He is still in the Old Testament. He is still in the time where God, having not sent his son yet to teach us how to be his sons, and having not established definitively the principle of love, mercy, forgiveness for the, as a key to salvation, forced or somehow constrained his people to repentance, his chosen ones to repentance by some hard decisions. That was the period that John represented, but he was announcing a new generation. Since John's time, Ruokita, many commentators will say it, it's referring to the time of Matt, the composition of the Gospel of Matthew. Luke has the same story, differently presented. And I want to tell you, even the translations are not different, are not the same in various English Bibles. And all accept it is a difficult passage. The kingdom has been subjected to violence. It's known. The meaning is clear. Persecution has always accompanied the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. That is those belonging to the message of Christ and have accepted it through association with him have been subjected to violence. Men's Buddhism, how do we interpret the violent? I've taken it by storm or I've taken it by force. Akko Nako, no more father, proposed to his parish council a coat of arms for his parish. And the symbols known as the coat of arms were a hammer a sword and a gun. When the parish is here, Father Unwa Gabaga, we quote in Matthew chapter 11, that the kingdom of God is subjected to violence and the violent, they need the violence to take this thing. I want to ask you, and I want you, what you told the Brothers and sisters, he is right in my own interpretation. Not in the representation of gun, hammer, and sword. But now, banda ankeche, 
The kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven among us does not just happen. It doesn't just come. Thy kingdom come does not just happen. There has to be something from the point of view of the person who is associating himself or herself into the realization of this kingdom, something that is determinate and to a large extent violent. Today is the memory, memorial of St. John of the Cross. Many of us are products of St. John Cross Seminary. Priest and doctor of the church. We know the story of St. John of the Cross. The Carmelites among us, we know that story better. Yeah? The Carmelites are for me who to talk. So now the men are moving very late. How are we here? But I know the Carmelites know the story of St. Teresa of Jesus as St. Teresa of Avila and St. John Cross. St. John of the Cross, a Carmelite order, was decaying. The religious had accepted comfort and corruption and luxury. And we know that religious life in the West was established as a reaction to the corruption and laxity within the church. St. Benedict, Pacomius, Egypt, Anthony of Egypt, these people were angry, so to speak, that the church had lowered its standards because it had become politically powerful. And from asking people not to join the army because it would make them kill innocent people, the church was having its own army. From detachment from worldly things, the church was acquiring property. And these men said, no, there has to be an antidote to this relaxation. And that was how the religious orders Religious life, monasticism especially, began in the West, borrowed from the East. And of course, you know, the dialogue, the dynamics between community, religious, and desert, religious, and how difficult it was. You know that Benedict was so strict that some of his monks tried to poison him. That is the violence. John of the Cross when he began his reform, he said, this can't be the congregation. This can't be the order that we have decided to follow. And with Teresa of Avila walking on the female order, he decided to walk on the male order, and he was so persecuted that at some point, his fellow religious imprisoned him, kept him under South house arrest in the convent. If you are a priest, if you are a sister, and you are insistent on living your religious life or priestly life the way it should be, expect attack from your brothers or your sisters. And the bishop like I and they to you to important parishes. Or can mother see again? Can I about this? That type of persecution may be more painful than even physical imprisonment because you get isolated. You live in solitary confinement in a community among your brothers. On where the father of a hair with a man of the behind a book, topic a change. I pity for Henry, not Bataman at that category. Once you get to the father, 
Jekunu Mwe without application. I actually read the Bata Bishop. I have a Dagian Rabuka. 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 That is solitary confinement, and that is violence. Now, I'll tell you another story. An old monk heard the story of two brothers of his in another monastery that had a reputation of being very holy. So he decided to go and find out himself. The monk himself, the old monk, was a pious holy man. So he came, he saw the two monks, he invited them to accompany him to take a walk around the convent. And as they were taking this walk, they came to the garden, full of beautiful vegetables and flowers. And the man said, wow, what a beautiful garden. And they said, yes, master. And he retorted, no, this is too beautiful for a monastery. And he picked up a long stick and started damaging all the vegetables and flowers in the place. In horror, these two monks who had been laboring to maintain this garden with their hands on their mouth, oh my goodness. That was all they could say. The man in anger, real or apparent, destroyed the entire garden and was sweating at the end. Went and sat under the tree to rest. These two monks came to him, bowed low and said, Master, please, do we have your permission to go and pick up some of the cabbage and vegetables that we can still eat? And the old man stood up, prostrated himself before them and said, now I know that the story I heard about you is true. It's true. When you are provoked to anger and you respond with a violence of forgiveness, bros, it is not easy. You do violence to yourself. You have been abused by a fellow sister, by a brother, by a priest. You respond of doing violence to yourself by promoting him. A lie has been told deliberately against you to damage your reputation among priests or sisters. You deliberately tell all the true stories that are positive about your brother or your sister. You are doing, and it is not easy. Believe me, if you have not tried it, you don't know how painful it is. That is how the kingdom of God is taken. That is how the kingdom of God is realized. We must respond with violence to ourselves, violence to our pride, violence to our bloated egos, violence to our greed. I, as seminarians in the Holy Ghost Cathedral, 1981, I ain't there, no. Mwane Ike ane Judane, non a secretariat. Damien will look late, God rest his soul, and Chaliushi, non a parish. I gave money mass one day. And now, pass a mass, somebody came into the sacristy and handed an envelope to Father, late Father Anthony Ugu. Father Ugu had no parish then, he was living in residence. No allowances, no warrior. Those who knew his condition from time to time would come and give him some money. Or maybe they just, this person just wanted masses. Father Anthony Ugu 
those who knew him know the stories and you both seminary and snanu maka without opening that envelope turn say seminarians you may need this more than me number 1 mbaing maria hume good na ancha one day ijene holy ghost i don't know whether it is still that that way and it is that way in some seminaries it is that way in some parishes and it is wrong very very wrong but better than nothing that is a kigno halif unri ne frenke mabno kutunke mabne flask ngben kai ne flask adigno obno kutu e kein gin kein no kutu e huta irienke why can't you dish your food from a common plate e maran to ye de greedy oh greed ne me ha Father Antonio, we were having our plates, each one with his own semo and soup, semo and soup. Father Anthony was coming down from the room. One lady, I remember it very clearly, was sitting in the sitting room. Aimbia, Aile, Anya, Ega, Aiga, Heri, Jigre, Dining. Of course, we seminarian in Okatija, Semwa, in Chatar Fado, Chokogene, Bashom Bilak. So I'm Boy, Anya, Aiga, Heri. I boy and I ain't got here guy out of the guy. Meanwhile, I lay on a dining room. Father Anthony, who came down the steps, you passed the sitting room before dining. Oh, my, this lady went in. Oh, joy, oh, no, chotar. Oh, boy, my father, oh, chotar, oh, no. And the lady had stayed a long time waiting for this priest. Father Anthony came into the dining. Vuru, rinke. Jacob, this woman handed it over to her, came back to the dining. Only Zobia could tell you about me. Seminarian, because you don't know small. Jacob, the next seminarian, you don't know small. That was violence to himself. That is how the kingdom of God is realized. It doesn't just come. Those who knew or know him at the University of Nigeria, Nsoka. And here, 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 my boss, our mass. Our mechanic boss, our mass. So we bring gifts, and who want to see your gift? They can have it. They can collect it. Anna. They can collect. The other day, he was making announcements because he really had to come. Watch him make him. Some sell the books and don't return the money. Us being a tea guy, they can no one will budge. He's here among us, and I'm saying it. Not because Bashar did a good funeral oration here, good day. Let him hear it. Maybe he's doing violence to himself. Oh, we're going to come here and make them. Now, how much can Father Jim wear shoes and not? Oh, we're going to go. Four pairs of shoes. I am happy he doesn't know how many shoes I have. Fathers, attachment, greed. Lost, slot, laziness. Some of us are not praying because it is no longer convenient or comfortable. Some of us are no longer charitable because we are not sure that we will get a replacement. Some of us do violence to yourself. Yes, the kingdom of God is taken by storm and violence, but violence done to yourself, done to all the negative things. That is the only way you can you cannot lower a mountain of rocks without firing dynamite. You can't let the mountains be laid low. The goal is filled up. The winding paths made straight. You have to do violence to yourself to be able to realize that. And John of the Cross did it. Other saints did it to themselves. Jesus himself did that violence to himself by giving entirely his life. And I don't think there is an alternative for the realization of the kingdom of God. In our time today, where, put me anywhere, materialism has destroyed Christianity. In our time, we have materialism has destroyed Christianity. And violent, intolerant type of fetishism is not traditional religion. 
is taking the place of any form of organized religion in our place, we have to violently reclaim the place of the kingdom in our hearts first. And through us, the water will flow in the desert to other people and water the garden. <laughs>